All right, so this is a video on this Embera commercial refrigerator I wanted to do because I bought it used off some guy, just as a drink refrigerator here in my little workshop. And I uh, bought it off and the guy said, you know, it kind of freezes sometimes in there, it gets too cold. And unfortunately the uh, controller down here to try to reset the temperature doesn't work. Cause I, apparently you can cool these things from I think 30 degrees to 50 degrees, depending on where it's set. So I called around and I found a commercial guy who was like, oh yeah, they don't sell that. Uh, oh, what is this? The LSTAT EMS 55 advanced uh, controller anymore. He said they're obsolete and you might just be screwed or have to get a commercial guy to come out and put a uh, manual thermostat on this thing. So I found a video on YouTube of a guy in Spanish talking about how to adjust this thing. And you know, it's kind of hard to figure out. There was some translation on it, but I figured I'd do this in English since I finally figured it out after getting some tips from him. So that was nice. So it's running right now and it was freezing on me a little bit. And uh, so apparently when you try to press this uh, keypad, nothing happens. It beeps, but it really doesn't do anything. And it says it's in use right now. I'm, I'm guessing that's what that means. But there's a password that's universal that they all have that seem to be the same. Now I'm not a professional in this industry. This is just what I've kind of figured out on my own. So you know, forgive me if I'm wrong on some of these things, but here's how I got this thing to work. So press some buttons until it says PAS, which I guess means password or enter your password. So I'll press a button here and let's see what happens. Oh, nothing's happening yet. Oh, there we go. Okay, finally got it to say pass. So you hit this snow button four or let's see four times. No, three times, I'm sorry. So hit this button three times. One, two, three, and then one, two on the arrow, one on the down arrow. And that didn't work. All right, let's see if we can figure this thing out again. Okay, it says passwords, that's good. So one, two, three, and this up arrow, one, two, down arrow, one, and then this little raindrop button four times. One, two, three, four, there we go. So that's how it unlocks. And then you can kind of, I think, shift through some of these things so it says CF1, not sure what that means, but where I went to was, oh, where was it here? Uh, it's locking up on me right now. Uh, but there was some setting that I got to figure out was a temperature setting and I just adjusted it all the way up to 50 and it worked. And now my refrigerator is running about 46 degrees instead of this cooling to about 30 and freezing things so and right now it's acting up on me but no oh, there we go SPF I think that's what it is there we go so you hold the button down at SPF, and that's how you adjust the temp, I believe. So I'm holding it down. You couldn't just tap it, you have to hold it. So there you go, I set it for 50. So I believe that means it is now gonna cool to 50, and then the compressor will turn off once it hits 50 degrees. It's just gonna flash for a little while, and it'll stop flashing, and it'll just set at that point. I think it takes like 30 seconds for it to stop flashing. And I'll just stay on this until it does that. All right, there it goes. So it says it's back in use. I just heard the fan shut off because we're below 50 degrees right now. And I'll check that with my little uh, infrared laser that I have here. And we'll see what it actually is inside. Forgive me here while I get this out. Okay, let's see what it's like in here now. Thirty-six point nine degrees. Go a little higher up, 38 degrees. A little higher up, 39 degrees. And the water bottle is not frozen. And I was getting this thing, it was about 30 degrees and it kept free. After about three or four days, it would just freeze. So 
That appears to have solved that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this combo one more time to see if I can make it a little easier. I struggled a little bit at that time. So here we go, okay, so. All right, it says password. So one, two, three, four. Oh, that's supposed to be three, darn it. <laughs> Let's see if it works. One, two, and then hit this button once. And this button four times. One, two, three, four. And that didn't work. <laughs> All right, let's let it reset and do it one more time. Okay, here we go. So it's three times with this button up here. So it didn't make a sound, so I'm not going to count that. So let's try it again. Nope. Again. There we go. It says password. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two. One. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's how you unlock it. Then you can scroll through to the temperature and just make sure you hold these buttons down. Don't try and tap them once you get to where you want. You gotta hold it down and it'll start running through it. So hopefully that helps you guys. If it did, please like the video, share it, comment on it, all that jazz. All right, thanks everyone.